We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. The Yankees have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy pitched well this last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. Stepping up now, Ahmed Rosario. He'll get us started in this one Leading under the lights. The the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. Ball and two strikes. 77 degrees our temperature at game time tonight. The one and two pitch. To third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that's out number one. Here's Robbie Cano now. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Cano waits on the first pitch. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. Bases are empty. One man out. Swung on and missed. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 1-2. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike. Well even though these two teams are in different leagues they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry and it's always pretty fun. Yeah and for the players Matt they love it. Not only is there more on the line than usual like bragging rights but they're not having to stay at hotels and all that. It's just like a normal home game where they're driving to a different ballpark. Two out, nobody on. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. Judges under it, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. Mets zero. Yankees coming up. It's crosstown action on Major League Baseball, the show.
Noah Syndergaard gets the ball for the Mets in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, in his last start, he picked up his ninth win of the season. It's always nice to get into double digits, and nothing he'd like to do more than to pitch well in this one and pick up his tenth victory of the year. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off for the Yankees, the center fielder. Brett now here's the pitch. Gardner. Hit hard to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove and the leadoff man is aboard. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge, having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, Matty, it's been a pretty productive week at home, to say the least. Six and one on the recent homestand. The last thing you want to have happen is to get on the plane and leave that there. The way you've been playing, fundamentally sound, pitching, hitting, some defense. They have to find a way to continue the momentum, bottle up what they did at home, and take it on the road with them. wave and a miss at the 2-0 sinker 2 and 1. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Fouled off. Two two here it is and a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Well that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play and hey a strikeout always works too. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Now the 1 0 it is a sinker that misses for a ball. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Here it comes, 2 0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. We're seeing a good AB here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. Not too often you see an at-bat go from 3-0 and to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. McNeil at second to finish off the force play, and that retires the side. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. set for the start of the inning and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. 
Alonzo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. And right into the shift. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Fastball well outside. J.D. Davis will be next. Right into the shift, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. No score here as we play inning number two. And another foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. A swing by Conforto, and this is driven to deep right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo home run there for Michael Conforto. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. J.D. Davis the next to bat. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat. Grounded back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. His career line against Garrett Cole. Pretty average results, four for 15. Two of those hits were for home runs. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And he fouls this one off. We're in the second. one nothing Mets early on. A ball and two strikes now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time. And it's back to even now at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 1-0 Mets.
Stepping into the box, Gary Sanchez. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no sight. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting fifth, the third baseman, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. Guy continues to swing a hot bat, hit over 300 last month. We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1-0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. LeMahieu is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport and it doesn't matter right handed or left handed pitching he's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands grounder down the line at third and that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third well that's not a bad pitch right there that's a pretty good that sinker he just happens to hook field. that one right into left field for a base hit yeah he got the oh, bat head bro. out right there Dan and was able to get that one to left field. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. Yes, he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. <laughs> Fouled away. LeMahieu leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes is after it. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Top of the third set to get underway. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Here comes the first pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. A ball and a strike. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. 
you can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The one two. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Judges under it. One away. Batting up. The center fielder, number 16, Jake Marisnik. At the plate, Jake Marisnik. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. One out, nobody on. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two is laid off for ball two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes, so it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Well, that's off the plate. Ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Bouncer up the middle. Torres brings it in. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. So frustrating, Hero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out, all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Robinson Cano is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. A runner on first with two away. And he misses again to Cano. It's 2 0 now. Cano is in, don't you know, a part of his New York nickname days. This is the first year of his new four year contract. Now Cole's delivery 2 0. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Met strand one, but they're on top one to nothing.
coming to the plate now. Luke Voigt. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First pitch of the at bat. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Cespit is going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Up next for the anchor, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. And quickly there are two away. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Good. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat one and oh. Two out nobody on. A ball and a strike. Two outs nobody on but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here middle of the order guys coming up and see if he can extend the inning. One and two now is that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. So they'll get a two-out base runner here as we check out the list of the best hitting teams roughly midway through the season. And we find that these guys are currently third best in the AL in that department. So striding forward now, Torres. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. Two out with the man at first. Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. 
seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And it's fouled away. The next 3 2. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. The relay. The tag. And they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They trail this one one to nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Number six. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 0 1. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Urshela onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the now inning. The first base. Alonso. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 1 0. One run, two hits, one error in the game for the Mets thus far. Slider laid off for a ball. Skied into straightaway right. Heading after it is Judge. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. At the plate now, J.D. Davis. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the 1 0. <laughs> 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. A 1-2 pitch. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Digging in is the veteran D.H. Giancarlo Stanton. The designated hitter. Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch coming. Here it is. Whoa, that pitch is out. Now the 1-0. One and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two and two the count. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. This year against right-handed pitching, Sanchez carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. That's Up around the letters with that one for ball two. So far on the year, Sanchez begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now batter, number 29. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Good opposite field power here taken high and deep to right. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMay as he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one one for one after a single this first time up the 1 0 high and deep down the left field line and this is going to get down it's a foul ball. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. He'll try again, one, two. 
Nope, inside, ball two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. There's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. At the plate, Mike Talkman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat on its hey. way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Ball. And that misses downstairs for a ball, ball. 1 and 1. A runner on first with two away. This ball runs away for ball two, two and one. From the belt, the pitch, two and two. Two ball, two strikes. Here now the two, two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. We played four, all even at one apiece. Digging in to try it again, Wilson Ramos he was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Gloved by LeMahieu. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that, the left field. You win it. That's finished. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Ioannis Cespedes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. Cespedes, commonly known as La Potencia around baseball. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the two one. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. This is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Jake Marisnik. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. The 1 0. Hey. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Counts even at two and two to Marisnik. Fouled off. The two two one more time. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. He said they're having a really hard time squaring up off-speed pitches right now, which is making it easy on the opposing pitching to keep them off balance. Until they prove they can hit anything other than fastballs, he thinks they're going to keep getting a steady diet of pitches with movement and deception. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off. Digging in, Luke Voigt. He'll start pitch. things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Four. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1 0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Sinker, three and two now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Mariznik is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. The center fielder, Matt Gardner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look nope. at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Fouled away. This is pulled into right. 
Conforto. He's back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's big Aaron Judge, and he's the reigning American League Player of the Month. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there 1-0. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We played five full, tied at one aside. Sixth about to get started, and up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Hit on the ground to third. And the throw will get him at first as he is robbed on a magnificent play there. So a fine play down there at the hot corner to take a base hit away. And that would appear to be a good segue to check out the league leaderboard for team fielding percentage. And we see that these guys are currently second in the AL in that department. Robinson Cano the next to dig in. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. No weights on the first pitch. Ball, that the wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So here's Jeff McNeil. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. All two. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner arranged to his left and put it away. Two down. The batter, the first baseman, <laughs> Alonso. So a runner at second. Two down now. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. First pitch coming. Here it is. That 
gets in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands his own. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Michael Conforto would be next. The payoff pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. Cano isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, Dero. Pitcher have the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. No pitch. And he watches one miss outside. 2 0 now. This is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. And that'll get down out there near the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. And the first base open. It looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. The catcher number four. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Luis Sessa answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. Wilson Ramos will be the first one to greet him and he'll bat in a big spot here bases loaded and two out in the inning looking to keep this a one run game the pitch now here's one hit in the air to the right side and nope this one falls so he'll get another shot. He set the 0 1. That misses one ball and one strike here to the Mets backstop. It's moments like this as a pitcher when you feel the whole world is against you. You're already in hot water with the bases loaded, so it doesn't make life any easier when you're not getting calls that you think you should. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. So one run on three hits, no errors, and three left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up 
Mets out in front, two to one. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. First delivery to him on the way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. The 1 0 -oh. is looked at for ball number two. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Liner in there for a base hit. So he'll hold on at first following the single to right. May get two okay. hits for him here this That's evening as he tacks on to his total. Good currently ball third ball. best on the Yankee ball club. Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Giancarlo swings and this ball is hit well into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton and that is 27 for him on the year as the Yankees move out in front here it's now three to two no surprise with that swing of the bat this guy is simply one of the best in the game right now there's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league So now, now to the plate, Kepler. Gary Sanchez. Gary. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope, that's bad. Here's a chopper to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batter. Number 29. Into the box now. Gio Urshela. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Conforto is right there now as he takes it for the second, second out. DJ. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch coming. Here it is. And hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Softly hit out to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. And New York has taken a three-to-two lead. Leading off the inning, Yoenis Cespedes, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. You know, Matt, and every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. Owen won the count. The pitch. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there. One down. The center field, number 15, Jake Marizny. Stepping into the box, Jake Marisnik. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in now this that, one. So they've really that. figured out oh, how to man. attack this guy. We'll Into the box, Ahmed Rosario. As he rips it on the ground to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Look Mets go down one, two, three. They trail three to two. Justin Wilson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Mike Talkman. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, out back. The 1-0. Swing and a liner. Foul. Wilson has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Now here it comes. What? Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Set, here's the 3 1. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been set a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Luke Voigt. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. 1 out, nobody on. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. 
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Here's Brett Gardner now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. That was a great job of driving that ball, no extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. At the plate, Aaron Judge, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Comes set the 0 1. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. 0 oh, and 2. Here it is. A bouncer to the left side. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. They're up three to two. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. New inning set to get underway and striding forward the designated hitter Robinson Cano. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. fouled away. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a liner. And this is a fair ball as it'll head for the 314 sign. And he's safe. He went with the slider, but the hitter wasn't fooled for a second. Gets the barrel of back through the zone and rips it down the line for a leadoff double. Ready for another shot now. Jeff McNeil. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Set. Here it comes. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. This has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over the third. Outside for a ball, one and one.
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good, executed, high fastball usually blows 9 out of 10 guys away. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now batter, so stepping in, Pete Alonzo. Mm -hmm. As he'll look to bring home Alonso. that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Green will have plenty of room as he makes the catch. And there's a big out number two. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. to hold the lead here's the delivery and here's a fastball called for strike one comes set the 0 1 not close with that one it's way above the strike zone that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark and a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Swing, and this is hit hard but foul toward the third base dugout. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Hit hard to the right side. A dive and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Yankees three and the Mets two. Paul Seawall is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 51. Ready once again, Torres. He singled his last time up. Leading off for the Yankees. The shortstop, Weaver Torres. Now here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. Seawald, 28 years old. He was taken in the 10th round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Now batting, the designated hitter, 
Giancarlo Sanchez. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. The 1 0. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you gotta let go on. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Hits are even at seven apiece. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees D.H. Now the payoff pitch home. Struck him out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. From the stretch. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. Count now a ball and a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that gets the black on the outside. A good slider that time. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for the Yankees. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Aroldis Chapman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 54. Digging in, J.D. Davis. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the first pitch.
hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Stepping up to the plate, Wilson Ramos. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. No balls in one strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Chapman. Nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three year deal. Here's the 0 and 2. Sinker misses two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. You want a Cespedes striding in next. This will take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. That misses 2 and 0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. And here's a pitch in the dirt, and he's in danger of losing him here. 3 and 0 now. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. The 3-0. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. So the Bronx Bombers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Luis Sessa gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Aroldis Chapman records the save, his 24th on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, three runs on seven hits, no errors.